when Michelle told me that she did some line dancing every Sunday, this is what I expected to see, this kind of modern country dancing with the chaps. So we met at uh, Eduardo's dance studio where Michelle and Lauren taught us some basic moves. So here's Eduardo and Michelle and the Colorado Cafe. At the beginning at the Colorado Cafe, they teach you a couple of new moves for the night. Um, one of the moves that they taught us was the Tush Push, which uh, was uh, complicated for my standards, I guess. You stay off the dance floor unless you're doing the actual dance as well. You can see there's a lot of people here on the dance floor and not a lot of them have cowboy hats. It's weird because they play um, all kinds of music, not just country, and the DJ tells you what kind of dance it's going to be and then people decide whether they want to do the dance or not. I don't know what that one's called, but it's popular. Um, you can see some people put their own moves in. This one's interesting because they're the people that have a couple, the couples can dance on the outside and people who are not with couples in the middle have their own little routine. The one, this is like a barn dance, I forget what it's called, but you switch partners every time you turn, which is fun because you get to dance with the ladies. This one's called Cripple Creek. I actually learned this one. Uh, Michelle taught it to me and uh, I got it pretty good by the end of it. The really good line dancers, like these guys here with the white shoes, Jesse and James, they insert their own little kind of pops and pops um, in the moves to personalize it. Here you can see Laura in the white shirt and Jesse and James behind her, beside her is Michelle and uh, the rock in the dance floor. There's also some <laughs> slow dancing which can be awkward if you just busted a move and you're all sweaty. So that was my experience at the Colorado Cafe in New Jersey and it changed my perception of country dancing and line dancing.